Exercise 1, Modeling a Remote Control Body. This exercise introduces you to a basic T-spines technique. To start with a basic shape and then push and pull it to achieve your design. We have started with the reference images. To place the reference images in the scene, run the Rhino picture frame command and add the pictures. Because the remote control we will model is basically the shape of a box, we will make a box primitive to start out with. There are some important options in the command line you can use when making a box primitive. You can determine how many faces are in each direction. The number of faces needed depends on how much detail you have in your model. Since this model is smooth without many changes in curvature, we'll keep a minimum number of faces, two in the x direction, and two in the z-direction. You can see that this remote is longer in the y-direction with more curvature changes, so we'll need more faces in that direction. We'll start with four. You can always add more later if you need to. We can also turn on symmetry when making a primitive. Since this remote control is symmetric in the x-direction, we'll add x-symmetry. This lets us only need to work on one side of the model. When placing the primitive in the scene, we'll roughly place it in the same location as the image. You can see that I placed it too high. That's okay. I'll just move it down with the translate manipulator. What we'll do next is very simple, but also radically different from what you may be used to in modeling in Rhino. With this smooth box, we are already about 70% of the way to our final shape. Now, we are going to push and pull on this model to get it 100% of the way there. Let's take a look at our T-spine model. The layout of the faces, edges, and vertices is called the topology of the model. Topology is an important term in T-splines because if you have the right topology, you can easily move from having a model that is roughly the right shape to a finished product. Each edge, face, and vertex is a grip that we can push and pull to change the shape of the surface. Let's start by moving vertex grips in the right view. By moving these vertices, I am changing the border shape of my model to match the outline on the reference image. I am doing a window selection so that I can select all the vertices that may be hidden and move them all together. If I just click one vertex, then the vertices behind are not moved. You can see that just by moving these vertices, I can closely represent the final shape desired. After I'm done in the right view, I'll move on to the top view and again move vertices to align the edges of my model to the reference image. I just need to move one side because I have symmetry on. You can see in perspective mode that now I'm perhaps 90% of the way to my finished model. Even though I may be 100% of the way to matching my drawing, my preferences may change now that I can see the object in 3D. With T-spines, you can design on the fly. Just grab any vertex, edge, or face grip and push or pull it to change the shape. With T-spines, you can design while you model. 